Hi and welcome to the next part in the blog series. Um, this one we're going to deal with uh, logging a user in. So I'm going to start by creating a page. Um, let's just save that as login.php. Is that how a framework works? It's using the CDN. Put a container in, row and column. As I said before, I'm not going to be spending time laying this out and making it look pretty. I'm showing you the technique, um, not how to design a, a good page, which is probably not my strongest point anyway. So we want to log in. Um, we've got a predefined login form there. Look, so let, let's not reinvent the wheel. And it's logging in via an email and password, which is brilliant. Um, we don't want that to say it. submit, we want to say login, and let's just have that button as a blue button, and let's just make sure it, right from the start it is a submit button, because that's where we fell foul earlier, and obviously we want that to be a post action. That pretty much at this stage is all we need to worry about. Um, let's go over to Server Connect, and what we're going to do now is to create that login action. So we're going to call that login user. First thing, obviously, we're going to do is to pull those globals over. So we're getting that from the login page. login one script import those over and there we've got that email and password pull in in our steps obviously we need to create a database connection and then within the security provider we're going to have to create our security provider Sorry, I've actually, it says connection one, but I hadn't actually linked it. Um, I wonder what was going on there. Security provider, we're going to call that, uh, this is actually the admin bit they're working on. So let's call that admin security. We'll leave that secret key as it is. It's going to be database based. It's going to be via connection one. And our user permissions, our table. Our identity is the user ID. That's their unique ID, their key field. Their username is actually in username and their password is in user password. Our permission, permission name we'll call admin and that's going to be in the admin table and the identity column is user authorization. So that is going to be where user authorization is equal to A. So I've rattled through that quick, quickly, but uh, there's plenty of tutorials on that anyway, if you don't follow. But basically what we're saying is that the, key, the, the unique ID, the key field of the uh, admin table is user ID. The login is via the username and the password. We're dealing with admin permissions, uh, which is basically, if you remember, it was an A in the user auth field of the uh, admin system. And we can now link that and save it so we can actually call that up at any point um, when we're using with securities and it will always use those same settings. Next thing we want to log in. So again, let's go to the uh, security provider side again. And what we want is a security login. Our username is, if you remember, actually the email. Password is pass, password passed over. I haven't actually put a remember field in to remember that uh, login. 
I'm not going to mess about with that at this stage. Um, we're just going to save that. Now, it'd be nice for the user, if that's successful, to be logged in automatically. So if we go into the security provider now, what I'm doing hold on a moment um, let's let's forget that for the minute we got the login the person gets logged in we then can return back to our app connect page and ensure that it's worked so into our dynamic events sorry no we that's just first of all make that an app connect form and let's Link that through to the the login user section now, and then what we can do is we can add our dynamic server event ac actions now. So, in the event of success, and we're just going to sorry, we just need to add a browser component in there. In the event of success, I'm just going to take it back to the home page as we did before. And I'm going to set also a unauthorized section and I'm going to create a, an error just to show you how to do these things. Um, I'm just going to add notifications in there really really useful little plug in that um use it so much so in the event of an error we're going to give a nice danger notification and it's going to say error and in the event of an unauthorized login in other words the login details are wrong we're going to have a I think we used danger before, didn't so we'll have a warning this time. Uh, unauthorized login. Okay, has anybody noticed the thing that I've completely missed? And that is, of course, we're using a encrypted login here. So our password is not post password. We've actually got to, as we did before, Make sure that is encrypted. So all we got to do is go into SHA-256 and give it exactly the same. So Wapla rocks was our salt. So effectively what's happening now is we type in the clear password. I think I used 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 if I recall correctly. That's passed over to Server Connect, which re-encrypts that into a SHA-256 encryption. And then it does the comparison of the two encrypted passwords to make sure they're the same. So at no point is it comparing the um, original passwords. In fact, there's no way to reverse engineer that encryption easily. Um, I'm sure there's somebody somewhere clever can do it, but basically it's not practical to do. So we are comparing encrypted with encrypted um, because we can't unencrypt to compare a, 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 an unencrypted password. So let's save that. I've got that horrible feeling that I've forgotten something here, but uh, let, let's go for it anyway. Um, let's open that page. Um, Buy it at Wrappler Unwrapped online. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, there we are. That's we've had a success message. Let's go back then and have um, blah 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 at blah 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 off dot com. See, by that, we've got the unauthorized login because that's not the matching login. Uh, the error one that we created would only, only appear in the event of us actually 
having a, a server error event and I'm not going to try and recreate one of them so there you are that's how very very easily you can log in um, you using that encrypted password and the next will be showing you how to uh, get the details of that logged in person so hope to see you soon